Would anybody else like to share as we I wrap up? That, yes, my name is Johnny Mike. Hey. Uh, I would like to just uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, you. Thank you, all your partner, because they help you to be what you are right now, and uh, that helped me right for me right uh, too. Sorry for my language because I'm from France. It's been uh, five or six years right now. I'm in the United States. Uh, for the new people working with Denzel, I just want to say, just do religiously what he say, and it works. Because um, the, the, the way we treat money in Europe and the way we treat money in the United States is totally different. And when I came, I did such a lot of mistake. And I was working at night, overnight, and uh, tried to figure out how I can make my finance better because I want to buy a house, I want to pay off my credit and everything. And I find different content about about how you manage your finance. And I find three people, I select three people. And Wenzel, when, Denzel was the last one. But when I listening Denzel, it was clear like water. He was talking like, this is what you have to do step by step. And actually uh, I didn't did a lot, but I got my line of credit. I paid off all my credit card, uh, almost done pay off my car too. And I just opened my business, my consulting and IT. And uh, I'm going to move forward to my next journey. But like I say, just thank you for everything. And if you do what he say, and like he say was the giving, if you give, you're going to, you're going to get back because I give him some knowledge, then they'll give me some people and those people also help me because they have network that I didn't know. Mm. And I didn't think about that. And I don't know how to express how I'm, I feel. I feel good to be part of this community because this is something, it's not about the money. It's yeah. about, it's just about the people you meet every uh, year. This is awesome. This is the, this is one of the best thing happened in my life after my wife and my kids. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, uh, uh, Brittany, because I work with her. Thank you. Uh, thank you for people is already gone. Thank you for people staying here. Uh, it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. We, we move beginning. forward. This is the first networking event. This is just the beginning. So the fact that how much closer we're in interact with each other, you know, we get to see each other on camera, see how we look and see how we respond. Everybody gets a voice, everybody gets to share. Um, so I, I really look forward to doing more of this um, because it really, I get to step away from the numbers and really start tapping into the mindset of how we operate. It's one thing to know your numbers and to have it all written down, but without the actual the human factor, you know, your mindset, what's your behavior going into it? Are you happy paying off your debt? Are you not happy? Are you, are, are you not in alignment, you know, and let's figure that out because oftentimes when we're getting financial advice, I've got Dave telling me I need to cut my credit cards off. I got Grant telling me I need to go get more debt. I've got this guy telling me I, I need to, you know, borrow this much. And then Denzel says this, and this guy says that, and that, you know, it, it could be a lot. It could be really stressful. You know, look, all the partners that I had in here, Alexa, public, become a public speaker, expert, right? You can make money that way. Steve Parisi, Infinite Banking, Wealth Nation, also Infinite Banking, but more talking on other topics on actually how to like, they have videos where they say, okay, how do you take a thousand and turn into what is it? 400. I saw a video like that. It was like, take $400, turn into 400,000 or turn, turn, take a thousand and turn into 10,000. You know, people see a video like that and they, they get scared. Why is that? So kind of think, where are you coming from prior to clicking on that video and realize that the, the creator of that video, they're not in it for the money. They're just showing you what money can actually do, 
how it can actually multiply over just grow, right? We want to multiply. We want to grow, but we want to multiply our dollars. I would rather give me a dollar and let me multiply it by 10 than to give me a dollar growing at 8% in a 401k. It's not going to do nothing for me. But you give me that dollar and you go let me multiply it, right? Just like in the Bible, give me five talents, give me two talents. Let me turn it into four. I don't want to be the guy that sticks his one talent in the ground because he thought that he would get a rate of return. That's literally what that, you know, that's probably what was going through his mind if we kind of convert it to today's mentality, right? I'm given an opportunity. I store it under my mattress. I'll, I'll, I'll approach it later. Or, or I'm going to stick it in my savings account and earn 1%. You're actually losing, right? You, that $1 is going to be worth 76 cents six months from now, right? It's just going to keep devaluing. So you, when you start, if you just stay in that mindset of, of let me just store my talent here and, and let me just safely, you know, if I want to be a singer, um, let me not go on the big stage. Let me just, let me just sing to my family and friends. What are you doing? You need to share your talent with everybody. What's going on? You know, you're a unique individual. There's only one copy of you on planet earth out of the seven point something billion people on earth. There's only one copy of you, one right? And there will only ever be one. So I think you need to go all out. At least once in your life, <laughs> we need to go all out. And it may not be right away, but I want you to have the mentality of, okay, I'm going to get my finances in order. I'm going to build my credit. I work with Brittany. Okay, let me get my personal credit, right? So I can get access to the debt tool. Let me wipe out these bad debts, get my cash flow up. Simultaneously, I'm going to be working on my skills, gifts, and talents. I'm going to read books. Steve recommends the book. Carmen recommends the book. Denzel recommends the book. Okay, I'm going to buy those books. Okay, so I'm, I'm studying. Still working my finances. I'm still working at my job. I'm thinking of ways, how can I get promoted and get some more income? Okay, great. You know, COVID is, is an opportunity, not a crisis. Crisis literally means opportunity in the, in the Japanese culture. That's how they interpret the word crisis, means opportunity. So if you interpret it that way, like, oh, COVID hits is an opportunity. Opportunity. How do I make money? This is, this, while people are getting laid off, I could become a valuable asset in my company, actually be raised to a higher level because the company is firing people. So instead of thinking, oh, am I next? No, you think, wait, how do I become so valuable they can't fire me? They can't. They can't afford to fire me even in a pandemic. And then my income shoots up. Okay, now I got more income. Let me do what I said I was going to pay off this debt. Let me hit up Sebastian with the business credit. Okay, get the policy in place. Let me do that. Okay, let's start building a business. Let me make sure I'm giving because if I give, it'll expedite the process unlike anything, right? So I, I, I love what's been said so far. This is a, a fantastic experience. I love it. Thank you, Steve, for tuning in the whole time. And Thank Carmen you. as well. Are there is like I said, I'm gonna give anybody, anybody else what wants to say anything before we close out. Yeah, I can interject on that last part you made there, uh, which I really liked. It's just about working hard and being able to to continue to thrive even during a pandemic. Um, I listen to to Jim Rohn all the time. You know that. And one of the things he says is, if you work hard on your job, you'll make a living. But if you work hard on, hard on yourself, you'll make a fortune. The way he'll always emphasize those <laughs> words, it, which is true. Personal development, I mean, the one thing I've seen so, so consistent, and this is working with CEOs, business owners that are in the, the eight figures, nine figures in annual revenue, one consistency I see among those individuals is their level of focus is so, so high. They're laser focused. They've got their goals laid out very, very specific, but also that personal development, that practice, practice, practice. So it's one thing to have knowledge on your niche, like your industry. That's one thing to know it. It's a completely different ball game to communicate it. The person, that CEO or that entrepreneur that you look at them and like, wow, like how on earth? Do they do that? Like you look at that person, like, I don't know how they do it. They're a machine. 
Well, they're a normal human being like you and me. They practice, 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 and you get to that level, just like a professional yeah. athlete. So that's that's my my recommendation. And there's a, a lot more to it as far as laying out your laying it out step by step. What are your goals? Being very specific with them from a personal, professional, financial standpoint, which I'll always revisit my goals. But work on yourself with that personal development, trying to craft that skill. Just if you're if you're practicing basketball, you're gonna stay up all night and just keep on practicing those free throws and eventually you'll master them but it's not just going to happen because you're talented that'll help but the practice is what's going to get you there